Hi, I'm Ellie and yes, I am on your screen and yes, it is a little confronting, but I am here today to tell you two stories. One about a life and once in a lifetime opportunity and another one about hot dogs, which is random, but stick with me, they do go together. So here's how it happened. Earlier this year, I was invited by the Lego Friends team to be on the panel of the Lego Friends Storyteller Challenge and of course I said yes very calmly. And, and that just led to a whirlwind trip to Bill and the home of Lego break. And yeah, okay, I promised I'd be calm, but I'm not doing so well. So I got <laughs> there, I got to hang out with Fenella, who has been at the heart of Friends since the beginning, and Matthew, who's the head honcho of design at the Lego group and a trailblazer in all of the things. And I met with the Lego Friends design team, which was beyond amazing and overwhelming, and I might have been just a little bit awkward, but it was incredible to be given the opportunity to meet the people who create the Lego Friends universe with such love and care and I didn't get a picture which I deeply regret but the whole team signed the friends anniversary set for me and I was just blown away but the whole point for being there was for the how that happened challenge and I've been seeing everyone's submissions on the Lego life app and it has been the most fun experience ever and that leads me in like a perfect blended segue to hot dogs because there are a heap of how that happened challenges on the Lego Life app. But I know how the hot dog tree bloomed hot dogs. So here's how it happened. One day, Nova and her sausage dog Pickle wanted a hot dog, which is, it's, I'm already confused because there's a sausage dog and a hot dog, but stay with me. So she's got a hot dog. So Nova and Pickle wander off wherever they're going with the hot dog, the delicious, delicious hot dog, along the main street of Heart Lake City, waving to all the inhabitants, or maybe not waving to them because she's too busy with her hot dog and saying, hello. Oh, Right, okay, that wasn't supposed to happen, so let's do that again. So, wandering along the main street of Heart Lake City with her hot dog and her favourite little sausage dog, Pickle, who just can't stay on task, stops to sniff Churro, which is not part of the story, it's a distraction, but, but it's cute, so we'll leave it in. Okay, so, continuing along Heart Lake City Main Street, Churro, okay. now Churro appears to be part of the main story, which was not the plan, so we're going to bring Ollie in to keep Churro distracted, and we will continue along Main Street with Nova and Pickle to the main part of this story, which is here, out the front of the community centre, where the workman is knocking off for lunch. He's been digging a hole to plant a tree out the front of the community centre. So Nova has wandered past this hole and peers into it, as you do. If you see a freshly dug hole, you look in it, right? It's just something we all do. Trips on absolutely nothing and drops her fresh hot dog into the hole. Now she is super sad. So Pickle trying to help buries the hot dog so that Nova doesn't have to see it anymore because out of sight, out of mind, she could stop being sad, right? Nova trips over the same invisible tripping place in the middle of the ground. She's still super sad. And now there is a random dog poop that some irresponsible dog owner has left on the side of walk. So she's decided to clean up, get on with her day, forget about the hot dog. Pickle does a little wheelie, checks out his good bearing work, and follows Nova. Meanwhile, rain clouds have started to build in the sky when they finally pull into focus, and it starts to rain. And Nova's freshly buried hot dog gets a life-giving soaking with some slightly magical rain, and <gasps> sprouts a hot dog tree. What? Oh, a hot dog tree. Yes, a hot dog tree. And because we're entirely ignoring the laws of nature, this hot dog tree was fully grown by the time the workman came back from his lunch break. And yes, you can bet he was absolutely amazed to see this spectacle. So later on that day, when Nova wanders back along Main Street with her sausage dog pickle, she sees everybody crowded around this amazing tree, which certainly wasn't there before. And when she looks up, it's covered in hot dog blooms. Ta-da! Like, how'd that happen? Now we know. And thanks to the alternate expressions that we're now getting for mini dolls, she was able to turn her frown upside down. But wait, there is more. A curious eagle 
chances upon the tree, drops the snake that he was going to be eating, which seems bad, but don't worry, we'll sort it out, and starts pecking at the delicious hot dog blooms, tumbling them down into the waiting hands of the friends standing on the sidewalk. So that's how everyone got a delicious hot dog for lunch that day. And Autumn Bonus got herself a pet snake, which she is absolutely thrilled about. Not sure that her mother's going to be thrilled, but you know, that might be a different story another day. But wait, there is an epilogue. The hot dog tree, I couldn't leave it there, only lasted one season. So the friends decided to experiment burying different things. So Aaliyah had a go with a pie slice, which grew a most delicious pie tree, which was yummy, but very, very messy. Yeah, you can imagine them falling down on the sidewalk. Ollie buried some money, smart boy Ollie, which bloomed a fabulous money tree brought about many problems and everyone forgot how to share but money tree yay and autumn wanted to see whether she could have a cat tree and yeah i 100 percent don't recommend burying cats they really don't like it but this is the story so we've got a cute cat tree full of fairy powering and wet hairballs in the carpet in the middle of the night the ad that went on way too long <laughs> But I certainly had a fabulous time figuring out how that hot dog tree came to be. And you can also have your own fun too. So make sure you head over to lego.com and Lego Life app to see more about the how that happened prompts and responses and have some fun of your own. <laughs> Go crazy. <laughs> I did, so sorry. Not sorry, it was really fun. All right, check back in. More videos coming up really, really soon. In the meantime, I'm going back to Lego Life to, to have a look at some more of your really fun stories. All right, I will see you again soon. Okay, bye.